All right, so uh, we all know that art is an important thing. To make an important thing like art, only the finest art supplies will do. So, uh, you know, you've got to have the best pens, the best paper, uh, the best desk to work at, the best, you know, chair to sit in, the best music to listen to, and all that stuff. Uh, if you compromise on any of that, uh, your art will suffer, obviously. We all know this, and so you need to um, find the best of all of these for the best art to happen. Uh, so, uh, today let's go find uh, the best pen possible. Uh, let's go. It's out here somewhere, I know it. Bird. We're hopping through the leaves. He's strutting. Strutting his stuff, man. Mm. All right, look at that, guys. Found this out here in the wild. That's the best place to get pens. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna work it until it's the way we want it. See, we're getting down to a good, a good point here. I like it. Highly customizable. I'm actually going to take the very tip off and then notch it. Watch your fingers. Boom. Shakalaka. <laughs> I, I love it, personally. Let's go make art. Alright, and then once you've gotten your pen figured out and selected, a really nice pen, um, you gotta go make a drawing, because, uh, you know, that's all there's that there's left to do. I will issue a word of warning, however, and take heed. Uh, once you've got this pen selected, once you have a really good pen, the best pen, uh, for making the best art, um, there really is no other excuse you can make. Uh, you can, you know, if your art doesn't turn out the way you want, uh, if, you know, the drawing isn't perfect, if, you know, you don't just make the best art ever, then you can no longer say, you know, things like, I just need better pens, or I just need to find out what pens so-and-so uses, or my pen wasn't working very well, or something like that. You've just, uh, well, you've just only got yourself to blame. So maybe if you're not ready, uh, you know, if, if you still want to be able to say things like that, if you're not ready to take full accountability, for your art, uh, then maybe you should keep using uh, regular pens, you know, the same pens everyone else is using, or, you know, just regular pens from the store, or, uh, you know, whatever pens you're using right now. Um, so maybe don't take this final step to use great pens uh, and good art supplies yet. Go ahead and use inferior ones, use terrible art supplies. I would actually recommend using terrible art supplies. Uh, that way you can you know, if anything bad happens with your art, if it doesn't turn out, uh, you know, quite how you want, uh, you can just blame it on the art, art supplies, and, uh, but personally, I think it's, it's great that way, you know, so I do this all the time, you know, uh, you know, because one time I, I was doing a drawing, and I think I, I was using some sort of dip pen, uh, and, uh, it, like, dripped on the paper, on, and, you know, I didn't, I really didn't like how the drawing was going anyways, uh, but as soon as, 
I, I like dipped the pen in the ink pot and I came over to draw another line and it dropped a huge drop of ink right on the page. And, uh, you know, I was already frustrated, uh, but uh, that it was just like a, you know, the, the straw that dro broke the camel's back as it were. And so I was able to, you know, just kind of trash the whole drawing and uh, blame it on the art supplies. And it was, it was kind of a perfect, uh, you know, scapegoat. And it, it's, so it's good to have that. So, but just beware if you do get these perfect art supplies, like a nice pointy, pointy stick like this, um, you'll, you'll have no way out, no way out at all. So just a word of warning. But on the upside, if you do use these perfect, wonderful art supplies, uh, you'll be able to create incredible works of art with almost no effort. You don't have to uh, put in a lot of hours practicing and honing your skill uh, or trying really hard at almost anything. Uh, the art is actually in the pens, and uh, you pretty much just have to let them you know, touch the paper, and they do all the work for you. Um, you can still kind of... Uh, you know, you can still kind of get in the way and mess them up, and that's when it's your fault and all your fault. Uh, but really, uh, yeah, if you buy nice or, you know, go and make these nice art supplies or get them, you know, um, they do all the work for you, and that's the nice thing. So if you get nice art supplies, you don't have to try it all. It's wonderful. Um, but then it is all your fault if you mess it up. So I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to educate you, make you aware of the pros and cons, the ups and downs of all of your options here. So, you know, anyways, it's been another, uh, another video from, from me and, uh, goodbye. Goodbye.